An optical printer is a film camera that is used to rephotograph old or damaged film frame by frame. This film is old, the one that I'm going to have to reproduce. And if we match up the perforation holes and go across, you can see it, it comes out of alignment pretty quickly after two frames. It's almost by its side. If you put this on top like this, you can see how, especially if you look at this area near my finger here, how, how much side to side it's shrunk. It's considerable. So, but we should be able to work with this film. Looks awful. Yeah. It's a nice challenge. As part of her preparation for the optical printing, Julia has gone through the old film and determined what intensity light should be used to expose the new film correctly. These strips of punch tape control timing lights that shine through the old film. The numbers are for the three primary colors, blue, red, and green lights. Julia attaches the end of a roll of unexposed film to the take-up side of a 1,200-foot camera magazine. Film reacts to light and she closes the cover to prevent any outside light from hitting the film. She pulls the loop to bring out enough of the new film to thread the camera, and once threaded, she will close the side door of the camera to keep light away from the film. During this process, she uses compressed air to clean the inside of the camera to blow away any dust or film fragments that might light on the film. She inserts a 16 millimeter gate into the optical printer. This optical printer or camera can be set up for 16 millimeter film or 35 millimeter film, each requiring an appropriate camera gate. This printer is called a liquid gate or wet gate printer because it uses a clear chemical which flows down to the gate and fills in base scratches and thin emulsion scratches without distorting the image on the old film. Optical printing takes patience. The old film must be adjusted in the liquid gate to make sure that it is in the right position. And the camera or printer side must be focused and aligned on the image in the gate. Then one by one, the frames are copied onto the new film.